Look at the variety of ingredients and how amazing they look. And the Wagyu beef is really tender. Hi everyone, today we're making sukiyaki. Sukiyaki is a Japanese style hot pot and is one of the most popular dishes for family and or friends gathering. We'll start prepping the ingredients. First, cut the onion in about two bite sizes like this. Use toothpick as a skewer for the onion to remain one piece. Next, we're going to cut green onion. We're only using the white part of it, so only cut the white part of it into about two bite sizes like this. Next ingredient is matsutake mushroom. If we're using wild mushrooms, first we need to rinse it to remove any dirt off. Then remove about an inch from the bottom part. Then cut the mushroom in half. And finally, you want to tear them up into one bite size using your hands so the mushroom will smell better. Next ingredient is rice cake. First, boil the thinly cut deep fried tofu and parsley stems for a minute or so. Then cut the rice cake into a small one bite size so that it can fit inside the deep fried tofu. Then cut the edge off of the deep fried tofu so you can open it up to fit the rice cake inside. Finally, use the parsley stems to, to tie up the top so that the rice cake won't fall out. When we make this dish, the rice cake will eventually melt inside like cheese. Next ingredient is glass noodles. Place them in the boiling water and use paper towel to dry them. Once it's dry, cut the glass noodles into one bite size. Alright, the preparation is over. This part takes the longest for sukiyaki, so you're almost done. There are two stages to enjoy traditional sukiyaki. First, you just cook and eat the meat. And the second phase is to enjoy with vegetables. We'll now start cooking sukiyaki. First, place the beef fat to grease the pan. We've grabbed a piece from steak, but you can either ask to get a small piece like this at a grocery store or use butter if you can't get it. Then add sugar. We want to add just enough so that the entire pot is covered even. Place two slices of beef in the pot, then add soy sauce, then sake. When it's cooked, dip it into a raw egg. Eating with raw egg is a traditional Japanese style, but you can certainly eat without an egg. Then finally, place all the ingredients that we prepared into the pot and add sukiyaki sauce and wait till it's cooked. Sukiyaki sauce should be widely available in your local grocery store, but you can substitute by using sake, soy sauce, and sugar. Wow, that looks fantastic.